So on your mini excavator, how do you know if the electrical accessories are drawing off more energy from the battery than what the alternator is putting back in? Welcome to the PFO channel, I'm Jim. In a previous video, we found an issue with our mini excavator where the hour meter that came standard on the dashboard had quit working. We fixed that issue by installing this Run Leader brand multifunctional meter, which reads engine hours as well as the engine temperature and the engine speed. The problem is it left us a big gaping hole where this used to be. Well, I suppose we could fill that hole by putting this back in there, but thanks to one of our viewers, I got a great idea and that's what we're going to do today. This is from Amazon. And what we have here is going to be a perfect complement to this new meter there because one of the things this one doesn't show me is voltage. I mean this thing's already got lights and it's got a cooling fan on the hydraulics and if I dream up anything else electrical to put on this I'd be running the risk of taking out more energy than what the alternator under the flywheel on this engine can put back into the battery. And I've heard some people that have put like dual cooling fans to help cool the engine compartment. And slowly, each time they use the machine, it draws the battery down a little bit more than the time before until eventually it won't start. So it would be nice to know before that actually happens. And I haven't even put the front back on this yet. So this is going to be a quick and easy job. All right, so this is set up to where I've got to connect these wires to here and here. At the same time, I connect them to these two. So what I want to do actually is put some spade terminals on that so that I can just plug these in. Okay, I got some oh, odds and ends here. I think I can piece this thing together. First, I want to confirm that these spade terminals will actually fit onto these. And they do, all right. These are tiny little thin wires and I don't want those interacting through vibration as I'm using this thing with these big wires here. I think those would fatigue and eventually snap. So what I'm gonna do is pair these up and put this heavier wire with this tiny one and put those into a ring connector that will connect to these pins here and the other end of the heavier wire will go into these spade terminals to connect up to this. So I don't need much length on this. That ought to work. My summons light is on from the house. That means, probably means dinner's ready. here. Don't want to cut it. Want to crimp it. All right. So that's that. Now these go here and here. So let me go in the house and eat and I'll come back out and finish this up. 
These are little 730 seconds nuts here. That's the positive on that side, so I'll put the red there. Hopefully I can do this without dropping this tiny little nut on the floor. Because this close to the front of the excavator, it's almost guaranteed to go someplace I'm never going to see it again. All right, so now I need my spade terminals on these. So I've got these, the red, the tiny red and the heavier red go to the positive, the one marked plus, and the tiny black and the heavier black go to the one marked minus. And then these are the spade terminals that will go into the ones underneath there. This is always a ton of fun. A flat washer and a lock washer. And a nut. And before I put the other nut on, I'm going to go find the proper socket size. These are 5 16 So let's see, flat washer, lock washer. Sometimes I can get these in one motion. Flat washer, lock washer, and nut. And I'm going to the one on the south over there.
I'm going by feel on this. I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to feel it real well when that plastic bracket goes tight. I don't want to over tighten it and break that bugger. That's tight. Alright, connect these up. I'll have to, oh, no, it's, that's, yeah, these don't show which is positive or negative. Not sure it matters on that. If it tries to peg it negative, I'll have to put them the other way. All right, let's see what we got. Turn on the main switch. Oh, look at that. That is pretty cool. Okay, and I immediately see another huge benefit that this thing is going to bring to the table, and that is it's lit. One of the problems I have on this machine is remembering to turn this main power off so that I'm not draining the battery somehow uh, in between uses. So having that light there, that'll help me remember to do that. Of course, when I have the fan going, that's also a reminder because if I turn this off it does the same thing but that is really cool I like that a lot all right and I'm gonna give a shout out right here to the viewer thank you so much for giving me this great idea of the perfect way to fill the hole that that this broken one came out of so now I got my wonderful meter there and this one here we are good to go, man. That's awesome. This isn't done yet. I think this half is where I want to be. that on the angle so that you can run the tape down you can taper the tape and then this I'm gonna zip tie up into this bundle here that keeps this up off of these valves that could get quite hot, especially on a long summer day of running this thing in the dirt. <laughs> That's really cool. Thanks a lot for watching. PFO channel out.